This is the first of many videos where I'll be answering your request, so if you have any, please leave it in the comment or in the link in the description. With all animated stuff in P5.js, I always wonder how to make a perfectly looped GIF out of it using the save GIF function. Maybe you could do a short video about this at some point, and that at some point is today. The save GIF function takes in the total of two required arguments. The first one is the file name that you want to save your animation or the GIF, and then the second one is the duration of how long you want to record your animation and the default unit is in seconds. So I'm going to use this example that I did previously as the animation that I will save as a GIF. There are a few locations that you can call the save GIF function. The first one is that you can call it inside the setup function or you can call it inside an event function such as key pressed or a mouse pressed. I'm going to write a new function called key pressed. And key pressed is called every time you click a specific key. So we need also a conditional statement. If key equals to, how about the letter S, then we want to call this function called save gif, right? And the first argument, what if I just call it animation.gif? And I want to call it for a duration of how about five seconds. All right, and now I run. It doesn't save yet. And so now I click S and you can see here, it's telling you exactly the number of frames that are being saved and rendered. All right, so as you can see here, we have a GIF that we created using the save GIF function, but it kind of jumps from this point to this point here, right? And that is because the duration that we use is in seconds. What we want to do is that instead of providing the duration in seconds, we want to provide the duration in the number of frames. The default frame rate, which is the number of frames that we get when we call the draw function, is 60 frames per second. So let's say that we want a GIF that loops perfectly with a duration of one second. We would want to capture a total of 60 frames. Right now, the increment for the angle is one degree. So every second we only move the circle 60 degrees right but because one whole revolution or one whole loop is 360 degrees what we need to do is that we need to increment it by 360 divided by the number of frames which is 60. so i'm going to put in frames here and then i'm going to declare a new variable to call frames and set it to 60. So 360 divided by 60 is six. So we move it at six degrees per frame. So let's run. And that is super, super fast. So we don't actually need to have the loop to be done at one second or just 60 frames. We can have it done at two seconds or three seconds or four seconds. So what we can do is that right here where we set frames equals to 60, what if we multiply it by two, meaning that we want to set the frames to be 120, so two seconds. That's better, a little bit slower. What if we set it to 180? I think that looks pretty good. Instead of putting in five here for the argument for the duration with the unit of seconds, we can put in frames here, and then we need to put in the third argument as options. And then we're gonna create this new variable options. And basically we need to change the default unit from seconds to frames. So all we have to do is that we just need to write the syntax like this, let options equals to curly bracket, and then we put in units, and then a colon, and then we put in the word frames. And we just click run, and then we click S. You can see it's 180 now, right? Perfect. All right, and now it's a perfect loop. Until next time, bye.